With over 20 different species of cactus with sometimes very subtle differences between them existing, we understand that it can get a little confusing identifying one trichocereus from another. In this video, we are going to break down some of the specific characteristics of the five most common San Pedro cactus types so that you can distinguish them apart from each other, provide better care for your cacti, and gain an appreciation of their diversity. When identifying San Pedro cacti, it's important to recognize that various factors can influence the appearance of a plant. For example, a younger cactus can look very different than a mature one. Environmental conditions, like the amount of lighting, will have an effect, and a neglected San Pedro will look vastly different than a cactus that is fertilized and flourishing. Crested cacti make things especially difficult, and hybridization will further confuse as offspring will have a combination of traits from the mother and father plants. Just keep that in mind as we move forward. The iconic San Pedro cactus, or Trichocereus pacanoi, is native to the Andes Mountains of Peru and Ecuador and boasts ribbed stems that can reach heights of 20 to 30 feet. Typically, it has 5 to 8 rounded ribs with small to medium-sized rounded aerials that feature V-shaped notches above them. The spines are short and golden brown, numbering between 2 to 10 per aerial, and it produces large white night-blooming flowers with black to brown hairs. Note that while these trichocereus all have white flowers, their hairs may vary in color and can help distinguish them apart from one another. The trichocereus pacanoi is highly resilient and versatile, allowing it to thrive in an array of climates. The Peruvian torch cactus, primarily found in Peru's Matucana region, thrives at altitudes of 1,000 to 2,500 meters. The Peruvian torch is tall but slower growing than a San Pedro, with a medium to large thickness, rounded shape at the ribs and tips, and the tendency to form many branches when matured. Its skin varies from bluish green to a glaucous light blue and has a smooth texture. It typically features six to nine rounded ribs with large aerials that lack V-shaped notches. The spines are medium to long, honey-colored or brown, numbering between 6 to 8 per aerial, and it produces large, white, night-blooming flowers with black to brown hairs. The San Pedro and Peruvian often become mistaken for one another as they share characteristics and potential hybridization. When differentiating short-spined Peruvian torch from San Pedro, skin color, spine length, and the recognizable V-shaped notches usually serve as markers to distinguish between the two. The Bolivian torch cactus, native to Bolivia, thrives at altitudes ranging from 1,000 to 3,000 meters. The Bolivian torch is medium to tall, very fast growing, with a skinnier body and ribs. Its skin can be light green, vibrant green, or glaucous with a smooth texture. It typically has four to eight ribs with small, round to oval aerials featuring V-shaped notches. The spines are long, yellow, and usually number between one to six per aerial and it produces large, white, night-blooming flowers with white to brown hairs. The Bolivian torch may sometimes be confused with the San Pedro, as they can have shorter spines. While distinguishing between them, you can rely on rib count, spine qualities, and the plant's overall shape. Pacanoi tends to have a rounded appearance at the tip with shorter spines and more ribs, while Bergesi boasts a pointed, sharply defined tip with longer spines and fewer ribs. The Scopulicola, native to Bolivia, stands out with its nearly spineless appearance, dark green skin, and plump growth. The Scopulicola is tall, with an average growth rate, a thicker body, and a rounded shape at the ribs and tips. It forms many branches when matured and has a convex side profile due to its extra girth. Its skin is dark green, with a grainy texture, and it typically has four to six rounded ribs. The aerials are tiny and oval, with strong furrows or creases above them. It has few spines, usually numbering between three to six per aerial, if any at all, and produces large white night-blooming flowers with white to brown hairs. The Argentine saguaro is native to Argentina and Bolivia. It stands out with its imposing size, adaptability to various temperatures, and faster growth compared to traditional saguaros. The Argentine saguaro is extra tall, slow-growing, with an extra-wide thickness. 
It has a round shape at the ribs and tips, and does not tend to branch out until mature. This saguaro is just a young plant and will grow very slowly into its full round size. Trichecii typically have 8 to 18 sharp ribs, large round aerials with dense long yellow spines, and produce large white night blooming flowers with soft white hairs. Natural hybridization, along with intentional crossbreeding, has given rise to dozens of hybrids between various Trichocereus cacti. At any time, a cactus you encounter might be a hybrid creation, combining traits from two or more apparent species. Without advanced techniques like DNA testing, absolute certainty of the genetic makeup of a cactus can be elusive. A simple yet effective trend has even emerged in the cactus community that involves labeling a cactus as a pachanoid or bridgesoid for example, to denote a blend of distinct traits from parent species. Take this guide with a grain of salt, as even the most experienced cactus enthusiasts have trouble when it comes to cactus hybrids. And not even hybrids, people tend to have trouble identifying even regular ones since there's so much variance. Be humble in your assessments, and know that you could be wrong. Pop quiz time. See if you can tell which of the five main trichocereus this cacti is. Pause if you need to, and comment your guess down below. Here's a hint. Pay attention to its spines and the size of its body. Now how about this one? This one might be a bit trickier, but as a hint, pay attention to the color of the skin and the number and color of spines. We hope that this guide helps you to understand and appreciate the variety and complexity of San Pedro cacti that exists. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and please like this video and subscribe to our channel to support more San Pedro content.